All right, guys. Well, we are at my buddy Scott's house again. Uh, I've been here for a few days while the van has been at AJ's 4x4 Vans uh, in Beaverton, Oregon. Uh, that's where I had the four-wheel drive conversion done, for those that don't know. And it's also uh, had them this last time do a gear swap. Uh, we had 373s in here, so now we've switched it to 456s. I felt like the van with the 373s was just a little bit too high geared. I had to keep my foot into it all the time to try to keep it going. And... Uh, I, it, just, it just wasn't performing well. So we switched it to the 456s and just in the short drive coming back here, about an hour drive with some hill, you know, pretty steep hills. Uh, I definitely feel like the 456 is a huge upgrade and I'm, I'm pretty excited to, you know, really get out and test them out. I think it's going to be a lot better for the van. But with that said, the reason why uh, we're still here is I'm going to do another project that I've been meaning to get to. Uh, for a few weeks now, but I really needed a good place where I could tear everything out of the van and You know be able to get to all the walls So the the project we're gonna work on is getting my insulation put in the van now We're just gonna do it temporarily because like many of you know that have been following the channel that This is my first van and I don't really I haven't really settled on how I want the van to be laid out So everything I'm doing right now is temporary uh, I've already changed my bed set up like three times. I've got it out. I changed it again today and So I'm really trying to keep things in the van very fluid so that that way I can continue to Change things around and really get a feel over the next year how I really want the van to be laid out And then we'll consider at that point, you know, tearing everything out and and really doing a nice insulation so what I'm going to do now is we're going to try this Havelock wall. There's a lot, they, they've, they talk a lot about their website that uh, there's a lot of benefits to wool over other types of insulation. And there's a link down below and I'm probably showing you guys some of the website right now kind of going through uh, why they feel that wool insulation is better. Now, I personally have got a lot of experience with wool using uh, wool sweaters and things like that that I have used in winter camping. And I really like wool over just about any other insulator out there, especially when it comes to synthetics. Uh, it's, you know, naturally fire retardant a little bit. I mean, not that it can't catch fire, but it definitely is more resistant to fire than other synthetic, you know, synthetic materials. Uh, the other thing that I really like about wool is it just breathes and it, it doesn't matter if it's really cold or really warm, it seems like you can be wearing that, I can be wearing that wool sweater and I just stay comfortable. So I'm hoping to have a lot of that same experience using this stuff. So we're gonna definitely be trying it out. And while we're, you know, in this position of being kind of in a um, testing mode with the van, it's a perfect time to test it. I'm gonna leave the insulation exposed. We're just going to be um, installing it with this uh, these little small slats here. So basically I'm just going to put the batting up and screw these slats in to hold it in place. And then that way I can kind of test and touch the insulation different times uh, and really kind of get a feel for how I feel the insulation is absorbing water and if it's drying out or if it's holding the water. Uh, is it is it molding? Is it not molding? They talk about on the website that it's supposed to resist mold, which you know I I believe wool should naturally do that. So I think that that should be uh, good. But we'll be able to test that and make sure it all works out. So again, temporary installation. And one of the main things I wanted to do in this video is just introduce you guys to the product because I didn't know about the product. I just happened to randomly come across it when I was chatting with another van lifer who had previously used spray and insulation and had some, you know, didn't seem to like it very well. And then they told me about this insulation. And once I got on the website and started checking it out myself, I realized this was kind of the route that I wanted to try as well. So again, this is, you know, mainly for you van lifers out there that are, you know, looking to build your own vans. And maybe this is some a product that you haven't come across that might be interesting to you as well. So anyways, we're going to get started on this insulation and uh, see where it, uh, see if we can get this thing uh, all together today. All 
right, so I got some of this uh, insulation out of the bag, and I can tell you one thing that I love about this insulation already over other fiberglass insulations I've been around or used is it smells like lamb's wool, and it smells great, and I don't mind getting it all over me, and I don't have to worry about it getting little shards of fiberglass in me, and just like if anybody's worked with fiberglass insulation, you would never do what I'm doing right now. Yet I have no concerns, and this smells just like smells just like a sheep. So, um, yeah, I'm super excited about this actually. All right, well, we're on day two of installing this Havelock wool. Uh, we've got the ceiling done the way I'm going to do it. Uh, like I said, I'm just going to leave it exposed for right now. Uh, this will, like I said, allow me to kind of play with it, kind of see if it's getting wet or a lot of moisture in it before I enclose it. Um, I, like I said, I probably will never enclose it the way it is right now. Most likely, I will wait until I'm ready to do a proper build on the inside of the van. But for now, this will work, and um, I do think it's going to help a lot. On the sides here, I'm gonna get ready to do them. And I'm not gonna do a lot on the sides, to be honest. Just this one area right here where, uh, if this was a passenger van, they would have the windows. This is just single walled right here. So I wanna make sure I get it covered up because when I'm laying in bed, I can really feel the, the coolness off this wall. So we're gonna do that. And then we got some cavities down below here that we're gonna shove some in, as much insulation as we can down into some of those. Then I think we're going to pretty much call it good at that point. All right. Well, I think I just about got uh, this wool shoved into every little crack and hole that I can get it into. Um, I'm trying to get, obviously, as much of it filled into some of the body cavities as I can, because that's not only going to help with the insulation, but it's going to also help with the sound deadening in the van. Um, it was very loud in here, so I'm really hoping by getting as much of this jammed in to the little nooks and crannies will help with that as well. But I do find the stuff very easy to work with. It tears easy, so I can just kind of uh, pull off chunks and start shoving it in different places. You know, it's definitely much nicer than fiberglass insulation as far as I don't feel itchy and scratchy. Or, you know, if anybody's worked with fiberglass insulation, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So it's definitely nice to work with. One thing I will, you know, one possible con for some people that I will mention when I got in the van this morning, it definitely had a lamb odor. So, uh, you know, I, I didn't think it was overly aggressive, but if you're allergic to wool or you find the lamb odor to be offensive, then that probably, this probably isn't going to be the route that you're going to want to go. But I do feel like there's a lot of advantages to wool. I'm really excited about it. I'm really excited testing it out over not only this next summer coming up, but going into next winter uh, when it really starts getting cold. I'm really interested to be able to see, especially since I've left mine open, to be able to see if the wool gets damp uh, or really wet, you know, especially on days where it's raining, where I knew I had condensation before. I'm just very curious to see how that all works out. So. Maybe we'll do a follow-up video, uh, like mid next winter, you know, once we've had some time to spend through the summer and also into some cold winter nights, uh, winter days and nights in the van, see how, you know, see how she's holding up with it. But as it is right now, I do think this is, you know, I'm excited about it. I do feel confident that this is going to be a good option. So if you guys are interested, if this is something that you are interested for your van build, definitely give Havelock Wool a check out. Uh, you'll find links in the, my description, and also uh, you should see one down below right now. I'll, also, you can check them out on Instagram too, so you might check them out there. But anyways, I hope you guys found this video somewhat useful. If you did, please give it a like. If you have any comments or questions um, about uh, the Havelock Wall, please leave those down in the description. Maybe uh, once I submit this video to them to look at, they can maybe answer some of the questions for you. Uh, so leave those down in the comments and we'll catch you guys again outside.